Let me tell you how the world ended. December 31st, 1999. Y2K. Just how bad will it get? Everything that could go wrong did. Y2K, the movie. To my knowledge, I'm the last survivor. Planes fell from the sky. Expensive Pentium 2s ceased to function. Nuclear launches all around the globe. Mm. Let me tell you about the downfall of mankind. Scene transition. It all started in the 80s. The synth was wavy. The computers were absolute units. But the memory was embarrassingly small. So at the time, computer programmers were trying to save every byte they could. When they programmed in years, the date 1995, for example, became just two digits, 95. Good solution at the time. But as the years went by, people went, hold on a minute, what will happen at the year 00? And the answer was, across millions of potential systems, no one really knew. They had a problem, and they called it Y2K. But let's take a step back. What does Y2K mean? Well, Y is short for year. Two, of course, means two, and K is the scientific symbol for thousand. Mono means one, and rail means rail. So the year zero zero was coming up. For computers, that could mean 2000, or it could mean 1900, or it could be a nil value. Now apply that same principle to something more important like banking transactions, international scheduled airline departure, or the internal clocks of GPS satellites. And now you see the problem. Systems would start to fail. The systems will fail, and if one part of it fails, none of it works. So traffic lights, power systems, water systems, military networks, microwaves, advanced AI, the entire internet, it could all potentially domino into chaos. Uh -huh. It is a particularly large global disaster in the making. Scene transition. So companies got together to spend their way out of the problem. The United States alone invested an estimated $134 billion to fix the bug. But they had an immovable deadline, and only so much could be done leading up to January 1st. And hitherto, only a fraction of the problem was fixed. Legislators could see the writing on the wall, so the Y2K Act was passed, which protected companies against lawsuits resulting from the bug. But, as the media reported on the problem in louder and more hysterical terms... They're preparing for martial law. I think Y2K financially could be devastating for this nation. Airplanes, they'll tell you everything's fine. They're lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Everything ain't fine. We the Y2K problem could abolish all paper currency and coins throughout the world. A secondary problem arose. Panic. Ooh. Here's an example. You spend millions of dollars getting your city's water system up to Y2K compliance. Everything's looking good. But the media is feeding people hype. So a nervous population does what it often does. Ouch. No, fill the bathtub full of water. Just in case, for obvious reasons. Well, also what tends to happen is everybody has that idea at once, at the last minute. You can imagine what that does to a big city. It kills supply. Then people think there's no water, Y2K is on for sure, and panic explodes in the streets. Boy, there was potential here for real disaster. So it was up to citizens like us to take matters into our own hands. Welcome to the Y2K Expo. Everything you need to survive the apocalypse. We bought survival bunkers. They think I'm mad. Mostly. But then they want a place in the bunker. We bought seeds. We bought a library of literature. We bought into pretty much everything. Get the ultimate Y2K survival kit from BeCalm.com. But Y2K just kept creeping closer. And soon, it was time to say goodbye to loved ones. But it's a two-person... It was time to say goodbye to the world as we knew it. From my bunker, I could hear the bombs go off. The destruction. Just unimaginable. Let me just set the mood real quick. Hmm... Nope. Nope. Close. Yeah. 
It's all gone now. The small things that went unappreciated. The great moments of our time. There is no going back. The date today is somewhere around 2018. It's finally time to step back into the world with whatever horrors that may bring. I don't know what I'll find out there. Mutants, cannibals, different factions of bandit. I just hope I'm ready to take it all on. Get it? He steps out and then it's the cabin from season five. It's, it's all connected. It's such a deep and encompassing lore. Remember when I used to make good content? Me neither. Scene transition. Okay, uh, I was only partially right about the whole doomsday thing. The world didn't end. But in Australia, some of the vending machines stopped working and the international weather website displayed the wrong year. Also this. So that must have been annoying to fix. In hindsight, that's pretty funny. I, actually, to be honest, at the time, I thought it was pretty funny. I worked in the airline industry for years as an avionics engineer. I knew that no planes were going to fall out of the sky. $500 billion well spent.